All right, so here is how it is going to work. I'm going to give you the name of various people from your season of The Bachelorette, and I would like you to tell me three things about them. Your first impression of them, your last impression of them, and something funny that we never got to see on the show. Sound good? Okay. All right. Do we're, my best. We're going to start with who else but Luke P. So let's get Luke's photo up. There he is. Okay, so what are three things? First and last impression and something funny, if there was anything. Well, the first impression <laughs> was him getting out of the limo with the whole lion. Right, he wrote it up. Doing. The last impression of him was when I saw him getting the rose over me. Mm. And then a personal, don't really have anything for you. Nothing. It's just kind of... Do you think, is don't he really know who Luke is, you know what I mean? Right. He's kind of an odd guy, and we were, he was kind of like in the corner there, and we didn't really like socialize with him. So he just, I don't know, I didn't really like him too much. It's some of the no stuff he's did. doing, and it's just, just kind of weird. It is so. weird. All right, what about uh, Mike? Let's get Mike's photo up there. And uh, we'd love for you to tell us three things about Mike. Your first impression of him, your last impression, and something funny <laughs> that you can see. First impression of him was just him being in the house. Um, we actually put a do rag on my head. It was kind of funny. Okay, he did that. That <laughs> he was did that. That was pretty fun. Okay. <laughs> um, and then the last impression of him was obviously saying goodbye to him at the rose thing. That was kind of tough. Yeah. And then one thing when um, the last thing probably was is that when we were all together, just kind of hanging out. You know what I mean? That was a fun time. We're just cracking jokes. Yeah. Uh, he seems like such a good dude. A lot of people are saying guy. that he might be the next bachelor. If and you know him. what? All moral for that. Yeah. That would be an awesome opportunity. Yeah. Mike would be a great great bachelor. I know, he seems like a good one. All right, what about Peter? What are three things you can tell us about Peter the pilot? First and last impression and something funny. Uh, first impression is, is he's a super down to earth guy. Very nice, cool, calm and collective. Mm -hmm. Last impression, probably have to go back with like to say, I'll say the same thing as just seeing him at the end of my journey there. And then something I would say off of it you didn't probably would not see was is that if, if I had a daughter, I would want Pete, my daughter to marry Pilot Pete because he's just a great guy. That's plus, such he, a... plus, he can take you anywhere you want. You want to fly somewhere? That's true. Dad, That's don't true. worry about it. My husband's going to fly us there. That is such a, a <laughs> wonderful thing to say about yeah. a, another man, though. Like, yeah. that's the kind of yeah. guy that I that's want. That's my... Pilot Pete. Like, oh. Pete. Pete was a great guy. Do you think the, he has a shot the best of winning? Guy, yeah, he very well does, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I don't know who wins, but I don't know how far, who got roses after this episode, so yeah. we'll definitely come and find out. Well, I mean, he has a great endorsement from you. <laughs> um, let's see if Garrett fares just as well. So let's get Garrett's picture up there. And then I'd like you to tell us, uh, yeah, three things about Garrett. Garrett is a golf pro, so I like to play golf. So we got, some, we got, we got to have some good talks about golf. Fun. Um, just cracking jokes. And the last impression would probably be him um, referring to me as Uncle G because his name was Grant, so they everyone called him G in the house. Okay. So I was Uncle Grant because I'm 31 and oh, you're 30. Oh, you I know, I was so old. I was the old guy <laughs> in the house, you know. Me and two other guys were the old 30 year olds. And then the last impression would probably be saying goodbye as yeah. well from the journey. It seems like you really bonded with a lot of these guys. We did, yeah. You know, we were with these guys a lot. Yeah. So we did have a good time and talked. And you We know, sort of bonded like, by your uh, mutual hatred of uh, Luke P. <laughs> yeah, you know, obviously. But there was a lot of times where we just kind of like just kept ourselves, but then we talked and, you know, just kind of like did our own thing. And That's then... cool. It's so great that you have this whole new group of friends from this experience, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, what about ABC, always be Cam? What are three, oh, three things about man. this dude? Cam. Yeah, uh, also going to be on Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> yeah. Cam from the get-go, uh, he was, you know, the first night was kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know if you remember, he had a rose when he walked in the, before. Did he? I don't remember that. Yeah. I just remember him butting in with the yeah, chicken nuggets. Yeah, he, he had a rose before, so he was already, uh, you know, he had a rose somehow. I okay. I don't know how exactly he had a rose. Just rub someone's garden. Yeah, no, that. I think the night before or something like that. So he got a rose, and then the chicken nuggets with Kevin was probably the funniest impression <laughs> ever. I mean, that was like headline news. Yes, was it was. Throwing chicken nuggets at Cam. <laughs> And then the last impression probably was, you know, the whole Pity Rose thing. Right. So he kind of got called out for that. Yeah. And obviously you saw that unfold on TV. Yes, he, we did. I just put him on the spot. It was like, this sounds like a slangy Pity Rose. Right. Thing. And now the guy with his own catchphrase is going to be on the... Right, on which the does Paradise. not stand for ABC. No, 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 no. <laughs> and, uh, you know, also on Bachelor in Paradise, John Paul Jones. So <laughs> what are three things you can tell us about this kid? <laughs> John Paul Jones. <laughs> a legend. Yeah? <laughs> John Paul Jones, uh, the funniest thing was is probably when he said Yaz Queen and accepted <laughs> his rose. That was probably the most monumental thing I think I've ever oh heard in my, my life. Oh, my goodness. 
Uh, and then obviously, uh, one of the great moments we had together was when we were playing rugby together mm. with one of my teammates. Mm -hmm. And we were just, you know, kicking butt, and we ended up winning that match. And then the sad day, the, 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 the downside about that was is when he got sent home. Yeah. That was kind of hard. We were all kind of like a little bummed on that. Yeah, you missed him after he left. Absolutely. He just had a great spirit about him. I don't yeah. know if it makes any sense, but he just was just a great guy. I mean, yeah. Look at that guy. How can I know. No to that he's face, he's you know? a total cutie. <laughs> total cutie. Okay, well, what about Chris Harrison? What You know, the OG host. He's been on the show since its inception. Yeah. What, what are three things about him? <sighs> well, one, when he retires, like his job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, no, I, you do a great job. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I think Chris Harrison. Chris. <laughs> no, no, no. Whenever, whenever <laughs> you're done. No, um, Chris Harrison is a nice guy. He. He was a great host. I think he's done a great job. He's been there for many, many years. Um, we've had some talks on the side there, and I just I have nothing negative to say about the guy. I think he does a good job being a host. It's a, it's a very successful show, yep. and he wouldn't be doing that if he wasn't that good at his job. It's, yeah, I mean, is, he's the business, got you know? it down to a fine uh, art at this point. Maybe I could take some, some pointers from him. <laughs> I, I would nominate you. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, what about Hannah? Let's talk about Hannah. What, what Hannah was your Brown. first impression of beautiful Hannah? Oh, gosh, there's so many of them. Uh, the first impression I liked about Hannah was is that I liked how she was just kind of like herself and she was she was fun She was quirky the first thing that we did together was the beauty pageant mm -hmm. and I kind of liked that yeah. like the catwalk and be your best I mean you guys best. brought it on the We episode. just we had a great time and then one of my favorite ones was her getting me to put a python around my neck and Are you scared of snakes? I was definitely scared of snakes. Yeah. Oh I buddy was. don't go to where I'm from <laughs> I, I I was terrified of snakes so like just waking up. I watched anaconda when I was a kid mm -hmm, it's got And it life. just scarred me for life, you know a same snake, thing for me with the record snake like eating people now nah, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, that was probably the thing and then just her her just who she is She's from Alabama. It was a great place. She has a great family. Yeah. She's a football fanatic, obviously. Roll Tide. You That's know. sexy, right, I lady? love football. I yep. love college football more than, you know, just anything. And mm -hmm. So I loved that. And I think the other thing that just stuck out with her is just, she was just herself. Yeah. I mean, she just, the Hannah Beast came out mm -hmm. once in a while. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, she, just, she was just her. And she was just fun. And she's one of those girls, I think she came off as, this is who I am. Either you take me, yeah, or you leave me, you which know? is kind of unexpected because I think yeah. some people thought that she might be a bit like shy and right, retiring, and right. then she was just like, no, like this is my season, my mm -hmm. journey, I'm gonna do it my way. And I respect the heck out of her for doing that because totally. she just she is like who she is, and she's she I think she carried herself really well in that. I agree. I think you carried yourself really well. So let, why don't we end with you, Grant? Tell us three things. What do you think your the first impression was that you gave to audiences of America, or well, the world, really? Uh, what do you think the last impression was that you made? And tell us something funny that happened or that you did that we didn't get to see on screen. The first thing probably would be probably the catwalk that we did down. Uh, quite the impression. That was quite the impression, you know, we did. Uh, and then the last impression would probably... Oh, man, there's so many of them. We just had so much fun just doing everything. Um, the last press would probably be just, I don't know, hanging out with the guys, I guess. Yeah. You know, and then hanging out with Hannah as well, yeah. having the one-on-one -on -one time with her. The rugby match was fun. The Highland Games was probably the, my favorite part. Yeah, you enjoyed Doing that. the Highland Games was probably the funnest. We all were competing at the highest level. Yeah, there was some body slamming home. happening. Body slamming, and, you know, we were just, you know, do this thing where we were Kind of like a tuck and roll. We were like throwing each other over our backs and stuff like that. Um, it was good times. Yeah, it was a great time. It was a great adventure. It was something that I'll always remember, and yeah. I was very blessed and thankful to be a part of something like that. It's always, always be a part of season 15. Exactly. No Anna one can ever Brown. take that away from you. No one can ever take that away from me. But what does post-bachelorette life look like for you? You know, that's a good question. I'm just kind of letting everything just kind of roll along here. Um, you know, that's such a California thing to say. Yeah, like, I know. Man. Like, whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm an Orange County boy at its <laughs> finest right there. That's there a you Southern go. California comment. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know, obviously, if I have an opportunity to go in paradise, you know, I would definitely go and do that. Yeah. Um, and if uh, you know, Chris Harrison dies a suspicious death, we'll be maybe, looking to you because yeah. you want to take his job. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> or maybe, you know, maybe someone asked me to be the next bachelor. I wouldn't. You never know. ABC, you have his number. Whatever you do, though, Grant, <laughs> we're just, like, thrilled that we got to meet you today. Thank and you. thank you for being so generous with your time.